In this tutorial in CyberLink Color Director, I'd like to show you how you can color grade multiple clips inside the same project without going back and forth between opening up and closing Color Director many times when you've started the project in Power Director. Let me show you the issue and how I found a solution for it as a result from a question from one of my subscribers. I have two clips on this timeline. They're all clips of people. We have a group on the beach and we have a couple on a cabin. So let's assume I want to color grade both clips. I need to click on each clip individually and then I click on the Fix Enhance button. And then in the upper panel at the very top I have a button that says Color Director because my copy of CyberLink Power Director includes Color Director. And then it opens Color Director separately and it will take and it will load only that clip into Color Director. I can go ahead and edit it any way I want to. Let's go bright and we just change the color grading of that. And then when I'm finished, I click on the upper right corner, I click on the X, that will take Color Director and close it. And it will take the edited copy, notice the icon that says Fix Enhance, and put it back into Power Director. Now if I want to do the second clip, I go through the same process where I click on it, I click on Fix Enhance, I click on Color Director, it reopens the entire program and we've, we're in this same cycle for a second time. So what I'd like to do is show you a different way to do this. We're not going to start out with Power Director. We're going to start out with Color Director. I'm going to leave my copy of Power Director open, but I'm going to click off the recording screen and click on my Color Director icon. One of the four options that I have in Color Director is on the upper right it says Import Files. We're going to click on that and we'll start not with the project but with the files themselves. So I'm going to take a couple pictures of couples here and open up these two video clips and now I'm working starting out with color grading in Color Director. I need to put them on a, a storyboard but I don't see a storyboard. Sometimes you have to click on the View option at the top. Click on the View Mode, the first selection, and then you have Viewer and Storyboard or Viewer Only. You can use the function keys F6 and F7. So I'm going to click Viewer and Storyboard. It'll open up a panel below the preview screen and I can drag and drop all the clips I've put here and I can add more simply by choosing the option here to click on the plus and I can import another video if I wanted to. Let's take this one and open it up. There's no limit to when or how many you can add to this particular situation. I have a frame rate issue. I'm going to ignore that for now. So I have these videos. Now if I want to color grade each of these clips that will be part of the same project in the end, all I need to do is highlight it and click on the Adjustment tab at the top. Now I can adjust by making all kinds of manual adjustments if I want to. And we have some tutorials on many of those. Or I can use the preset. For the sake of simplicity, I'll use a preset here. Let's take the lighting and let's make the lighting slightly darker. So I have slightly darker lighting on this clip. Let's go to this next clip and I'm going to drag over a few frames and on this one let's change it to scenery and we want to use snowfield and that will change the color grading of this one. And we could do this with the third clip or fourth or fifth it doesn't matter. So you can edit as many of these individual components in your project these videos using Color Director as you want. You don't move in and out of Color Director multiple times. So this is a very efficient way to go. But the thing you need to remember is you need to start out by bringing them into Color Director and then transporting them into Power Director to save time. 
Now, once you're into Color Director and you're working on several video clips like we have here, there are several options. If you click on the File menu in the upper left corner, you, there's an option that says Save Project, or it's Control S. If I click on that, it will allow me to save this as a Color Director project. It's like a Power Director project, but it just contains these particular video elements. So I'm going to call this Test 3. And now I have it saved as a Color Director project. I can stop editing, I can do something else and get back and load it later if I want to finish my color grading of these particular components. Likewise, I can add more, I can delete what I have, I can adjust them any way I want to. So when I am satisfied with these, it's always good to save them as a project, but then I'm ready to edit in PowerDirector. So what I want to do is I click on File, I go Export to PowerDirector. Now it says these will be sent to PowerDirector. I'll click on OK. Now it notices I already have a PowerDirector project open. Uh, do I want to save the changes? In this case, I won't. But it will export it to a brand new PowerDirector project. And you notice that I have all three clips that were already adjusted in Color Director. So I can go ahead and do any of the editing that I normally do inside of Power Director on any of these adjusted clips. Or if I want to actually edit any of them in Color Director even more, I can do that individually by highlighting it, clicking on Fix Enhance, and then launching Color Director individually but I've already done my color grading on these particular components. I can move them anywhere I want to, add and adjust. I can crop them uh, so the editing options are wide open like anything else in PowerDirector. But the sequence, if you want to save time, is if you're going to do color grading, load them in ColorDirector first and then export them into PowerDirector for further treatment.